How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Now, as you're all aware, team of the season is one day away. It is tomorrow on the Friday, 6 p.m. UK, I do believe. So, when team of the season drops, a lot of team of the season reviews will be on this channel. I want them requested by you guys. So, when you see a team of the season, come to the channel or tweet me at Marshall89HD which place you want me to review, and I will try and get as many done as humanly possible on this channel. Channel. But apart from that, what else do you want to see over the course of the team of the season? Of course, we can have the versus. Fatal could possibly be in there sometime. There is a lot of content to come. But do you want pack openings? Do you want other series? Just let me know in the comment section below. And I will look to kind of work on them as soon as possible. Now, lads, today we have a 90 rated Dries Mertens. This guy is crazy, and it kind of gives you an insight into Tots and how Team of the Season cards will be because his stats are almost maxed out in a lot of different categories. So lads, if you do enjoy, smash a like on the video straight away. 1,000 likes is your target, and if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to jdoa.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. So, the team around Mertens, I wanted to put him in kind of a competent team that he could possibly use in the weekend league. I'm using this in Division 1, so he's against like the best of the best of the best from time to time. And it's a great team around him. Dehia, Walker, Ferdinand, Ramos, Marcelo, you know that is one of the best defensive units on the game. The midfield, you might look at that and think Pogba, amazing in midfield. Kante, sensational in midfield. Torres, what the hell are you doing? But I've got to say, I've been wanting to play Torres at centre mid for a long time, and he worked very well in that position. So if you're kind of thinking, you know, I need a Spanish centre mid from La Liga that's uh, not too expensive that I've got in the club. If you've got a Torres, get him into your squad. Right forward, Eden Hazard. Of course, with that Belgian link, the Mercedes, the same can be said about the left hand side with Carrasco. Lads. Let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. And like I mentioned, this guy is crazy. And I say crazy because in the first two games, in Division 1, I got two rage quids. He scored nine goals over two games. Four goals in the first, five goals in the second. Unbelievable. This guy started like a house on fire. He kind of tamed down afterwards. But still, he scored six and four. A very good record. And finished with 15 and six. Very, very impressive. He's got four star skills, that's impressive in itself. Four star weak foot, honestly, it feels like a five star weak foot. High to low work rates. Then you look at his card 96 pace, 94 dribbling, 95 shooting, 92 passing, and 73 physical. Take a look at his in games. With the Maestro Chem style, he goes to 97 shooting, 98 dribbling, and 96 passing. But it's in games, anyways 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 stamina, skill attributes, 94 ball control, 94 dribble, 94 curve, 89 finishing. Look at the long shots, 99. <laughs> Look at the shot power, 99. Then he kind of imagine his uh, team this season. It's gonna have all those stats and then some, and then some. This card got me excited for team season, why? Because I'm using these cards with the maxed out stats and I'm thinking they've gotta be good. They've gotta be good from distance. Bang, back the net, easy as you like for Dries Mertens. So straight away, he's kind of proven to me that he is good from distance. The stats kind of show off in game and they reflect on his performances. They came true, his stats came true. In game, he was phenomenal. He's a phenom, he's so damn good. It is ridiculous. Now, with previous Mertens on this game, I've got on with him, but I haven't thought, you know what? This guy is one of the best strikers on this game. I've never really thought that until now, until bloody now. This guy is crazy. So I'll start with his pro and with his key start, his long shots. Now I could have had anything for that long shot stat or the key stat I should say. I could have had shot power, could have had agility, 99, 99, balance 99, stamina 99. But I went for the long shots, why? Because sometimes he peels off, when he does peel off, just bang it, just bang it. I don't care how you hit it, you could power it, you could finesse it, it will fly in the back of that. I'll give you a little tip as well. Shoot across the keeper, because when you do that, it makes the keeper kind of extend. If you can't extend it in the corner, and you've got an accurate striker with accurate shots, it's gonna go in the corner. The keeper can't reach that corner, so it will go in nine times out of 10. With Dries Mertens, my good God, can this guy finish? My good God, is he accurate? He puts it in the bottom corner, the top corner, every single time. So long shots for me. 
has to be a pro anywhere between 35 yards out and 2 yards out. He will score goals for fun. This one is, uh, I think it's a bit laggy this one, but he takes the fake shot, goes inside the area, weak foot, no weak foot whatsoever, four star weak foot, you're taking the piss, honestly it feels like five, it doesn't matter with the weak foot, left foot is his weak foot, but it's definitely not a weak foot, I kind of went to kind of geese and gooses, gooses, that's not a word, saying they don't have a weak foot, Mertens, again similar to Pogba, is a goose, so damn good, it is ridiculous, so we've got the long shots, we've got the shot power, unreal, unreal, every single time you take aim, it's flying towards the back of the net, this one for example as well, the shot power takes it past the keeper, the finishing as well does take it past the keeper because this guy is a potent finisher, he's a clinical finisher and he will score goals for fun, so I know he costs like 600k but he is worth it, he is worth it, he will score you goals in the price. I expect to drop it all like now because the rewards are coming out. I think this is going up at like five. So the rewards are coming out at seven. And then, yeah, it's going to drop the price. And with Team of the Season coming out, more packs are going to be open. This guy's going to be packed more. And it's going to be before the Serie A Team of the Season or the Calcio year. This guy is going to be packed a lot and his price will continue to plummet. And he's worth every single penny because he will guarantee you goals he'll guarantee you assist if you want to play this guy at calm he'll play well there he really really would because he's got great long shots he's got great shot power he's got great finishing he's got great passing his passing is unreal the short pass with the one twos his interaction with the fellow teammates is very very good and when it comes down to movement this guy he kind of sets the benchmark for a lot of players on this game. He makes those U-Ben runs, those Thierry Henry-esque runs. He runs in the channels. When you want him to do that, he drops deep when you want him to do that. Honestly, I had no qualms whatsoever with his movement because every single time I was looking for him, he was in space. That's great for a strike on this game. I know when his work rate's high, low, that is great. I had the instruction, get him behind, press the back line. He was doing exactly what I told him. And when he did press the back line, and when I did win the ball from him doing that, he was on the last man, one through ball. You are not catching this guy. 99 acceleration, great sprint speed. He is very, very nippy, very fast very evasive. This guy, he hardly ever gets touched. He hardly ever gets touched. Now, with his previous cards that said strength was a corner, you could look at his stats and think, yes, strength is a corner. It could be a lot better. His aggression isn't too bad. I've got to say, I think it's in the 70s. It's not too bad in the sense His strength is quite bad. But like I said, he is very, very, very evasive. He's hardly ever touched. He skips in and out of challenges. I mean, his agility is 99. His balance is 99. He is one of the most, well, if not the most evasive card in this game. And he's got this ability to dribble in and out of challenges without getting touched he is that evasive and when it comes down when he's dribbling that plays a major part but what also plays a part four star skills it comes in handy so damn much in the four star weak foot as well because your opponent is always guessing is he gonna go down the left is he gonna go down the right what's he gonna do you're gonna choose what you want to do you've got to read your opponent and you've got to think he's thinking i'm gonna do this i'll do the opposite and you do the opposite and you kind of outthink your opponent. Mertens is very, very responsive as well. The second you press the left stick to kind of move him from side to side, he's very responsive. He will respond to your exact commands and he will do exactly what you input onto the controller every single time. But like I said, the only con with this card is in fact his height. He's not very tall. He doesn't win headers. If he's got a free header inside the area, he's going to score. He scored for me when he did get a free header. But honestly, it's not very often because... He's not tall. He's not tall. He won't win goal kicks. You've got to kind of chip it in the midfield or chip it to your right back or chip it to the flank. I was going towards Carrasco, flicking it on from there. But with Mertens not being tall, he's not He's not a hold-up striker. He's not one of those strikers. He's a dynamic striker. He's like Dybala. Dybala in this game is a dynamic striker. He's quite diminutive and he's a menace. He's an absolute menace. With Mertens as well, I know he missed the pen there, but he comes back and takes his revenge. Like I said, he's a bloody menace. He wins the penalty there, lets it go through his legs, and he does win the penalty off Pjanic, and he will convert the penalty. So everything I've said, there could be more pros. They really could, like passing isn't in there. Positioning isn't in there. His positioning is idyllic. It's so good. So overall, lads, 
I reckon this guy is easily, easily one of the best strikers on this game. And his team this season will break bloody boundaries. So all in all, he's going to get an overall rating of a 9.8. A very high rating at this stage in FIFA. And a value for coins of a 9.2. He's well worth the pickup if his price continues to plummet. Bye, bye, bye. But that's going to be bye from me for this review, lads. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, smash the hell. And with that thumbs up on team of the season is tomorrow. So smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.